A once in a lifetime research project is underway in the North Pacific. That's right. American scientists are pairing with their counterparts from Canada, Russia, Japan, and Korea in the hopes of unlocking mysteries of salmon as Washington State tries to save more than a dozen endangered species. Fox 13's Matthew Smith caught up with the scientists and explains the importance of this new mission. You slide in. Click, let him rest for a second. Out on the Chehalis River, we're catching up with WDFW biologists as they catch salmon with this contraption, allowing them to tag, count, and eventually track all these fish. They're small. So then we go here and we measure, and he's 211. Real small. Then again, they often are at this stage before they escape the fresh water of the upper Chehalis on their way out to Puget Sound and eventually the North Pacific. We expect that over 90% of the juveniles leaving freshwater systems are going to die in that in the ocean. And typically it's in that first few months in the ocean. Marisa Litz, a research scientist, would know. In fact, she just wrapped up a three-week stint on the Shimada a research vessel taking part in the 2022 International Year of the Salmon Pan Pacific Winter High Seas Expedition. The waters are often unforgiving this time of year, but it's critical knowledge that scientists don't have right now. At a time Puget Sound has 14 endangered salmon species, understanding what happens out here could unlock valuable information. So we're learning about the sort of the you know, the unknown life history of salmon in the ocean during the winter in the Gulf of Alaska that originate from river systems like this in Washington. This handful of salmon come from a gigantic net. You can hardly see it way off in the distance here, about two football fields away from the actual vessel. It's really trying to find a needle in a haystack as Dr. Lori Whitecamp, a co-chief scientist for this expedition, explains to me on Zoom, the ocean is so big and the fish are so spread out that you traditionally can do research one of two ways. Intensively sample in a small area or sample lightly across a large area. But because they're teaming up with dozens of scientists on multiple research vessels representing the U.S., Canada, Russia, Japan, and Korea, well, they're doing both. While research on the high seas has taken place for decades, never before has been done like this. So it's trying to get out there and see firsthand what, what are we seeing? Where are the fish? It's important as they try to unwrap those mysteries of what's happening to these fish. Their food web and their habitat is predicting their survival rate is becoming harder and harder. We think that these are events that are occurring on the high seas. That's where this unexpected mortality is. And we really don't know what's going on out there. The salmon they get are sampled. They'll track everything from stomach contents, scales, eyeballs. Heck, they'll check every catch's DNA. In a matter of months, those results will even tell them whether a salmon came from here along the Chehalis. It's a pretty magnificent journey that they take. Or from a larger system like the Columbia, the Fraser, or even Bristol Bay, just like here. The most important part is providing the best accurate production esti estimates we can for these species. Scientists across the world are trying to understand what happens in the year or years that salmon spend at sea. In a recent warmer ocean condition brought on by the blob and heat waves and in the future climate change will affect it as well. What happens out here will play an oversized role on survivability of these salmon at a time we wonder whether they can survive at all. Salmon are a real, almost a canary in a coal mine because, you know, they rely on freshwater habitat that has to be high quality for them to survive there. And then they go out in the ocean and they, you know, spend the majority of their life out in the ocean. And if, it, if that's not good, then you're not going to get anything returning. And so I think by integrating across this entire range from, you know, mountains all the way out to the high seas and back again, it provides a really interesting and, and unique indicator of what we're doing to this planet. Reporting from the Chehalis, Matthew Smith. I'm hopeful that they will continue as will we into the future. Fox 13 News. Coming up.